Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We finally entered the Pirate's Grotto, the fifth dungeon of the game. Before we head on in here, I want to equip the Power Plus badge, if at all possible. Let's see, Spike Shield, we probably will not need in here. change. That's, that's something. Uh, where's it at? I know I've got a power plus badge in here. There we go. Creepy. There's a ghost in here. So we got to make our way down here. Watch out for the trampolines. They'll knock you back up. In case you need to escape. And you remember these guys. We fought them in the Pit of a Hundred Trials. These are the Lava Bubbles. And now that we've got Power Plus plus Ice Power, we can take these guys out real quick. That's the main reason why I quit Power Plus, is now I can take out embers just by jumping on them once with Mario. No, oh, That's okay. I had full FP anyways. So these fins sink as we go on them. Or bob up and down, I guess. Shine sprite up there. It was hard to see the box, but it was there. Star piece there. Uh, I will pass on <laughs> jumping on his head. So now we gotta use Vivian to get past these spikes. Thank you, Vivian. You're very kind. Right. I believe this is the room. Yep. Bullet Bills! Thankfully, with Power Plus, I can deal a hefty amount of damage to them. That's a Bullet Bill! It attacks after being shot from a Bill Blaster. Max HP is 2, attack is 4, and defense is 1. Take care of it quickly, or it'll totally wail into you, Mosh Pit style. Use those action commands and take it out! With pleasure. They don't give you, like, any star points, but that's okay. They're basically just there to get in your way. Ouch! Oh yeah! Alright, let's see how much defense the Bill Blasters have. This is also, I believe, the only spot in the game where you fight Bullet Bills and Bill Blasters. So, do keep that, uh, that in mind. That's a Bill Blaster! It's the cannon that shoots Bullet Bills! Max HP is 5, defense is 2. It doesn't attack directly, but shoots Bullet Bills at you. I know the Bullet Bills are annoyance, but take out the Bill Blaster first, trust me. Arg! How many of those fiends will shoot at us? You're so annoying! Well, if they only have two defense, and we deal four damage on our hammer normally, with the power plus badge, we'll damage three. Just have Goombella take out the bullet bill it shoots out, and Mario can deal with the rest. That's power smash. And that just insta takes one out. Sweet. And we actually get decent start points for that. So the Pirate's Grotto is probably one of my favorite dungeons in the game. It's very well designed. Got a lot of cool parts to it. I believe we're gonna, we're gonna need the Yoshi out here. Yep. 
Oh, yeah. These guys, I think we fought them in the pit, but I can't quite remember. Use Bobbery on these guys at your own risk. Because Bobbery can instantly kill them all, but you're also going to take a lot of damage uh, from that. Okay, yeah, I did tunnel on them. Hey, we still get three star points for that. Very nice. And he just lit himself. Alright. Things are about to get lit in here. These guys aren't too bad, especially if you have Power Plus. <laughs> Power Plus makes a lot of the game easier. Alright, these are the guys. This is the reason I equipped Power Plus. Because you deal enormous damage to these guys if you have Ice Power and Power Plus, and you jump on them. <laughs> you just insta-kill them. So, there's no progressing for that way. That's okay, though. Shine Sprite up there. We can use Coops. Hit an invisible block there. And then get us a Shine Sprite. Hello, Parabuzzy. Take that, Parabuzzy. So now we're basically fighting all the guys we fought in the pit after World 2 was, I believe. Pretty simple, but we still get decent star points for it. And they're a cinch! You'll notice I'm taking next to no damage and not using a whole lot of FP, actually. I could probably take off um, the FP plus badge that I have equipped. Maybe not, though. So to hit that switch, gotta use Bobbery. Bobbery's a useful partner. Oh, turn back. Oh, go no further, or you will never leave. Uh-oh. It's just for kicks. I'll show you what happens if you use if you bomb one of these bulky bomb bombs. Bad stuff's about to happen. <laughs> so you can end the battle instantly. It's just you just take a lot of damage if you do that. So do that at your own risk. I at least wanted to show it off. Oh, hang on. Before I forget. Yeah, I looked up all the star piece locations before going into this dungeon. Because I knew there would be some hidden panel ones that I would miss. Welcome to the storage room. This is one of those puzzle rooms that you hear about. So if we use coops. So we're going to hold the coops in place there, jump on the elevator, and kaboom. And we get the grotto key! So we can use that to progress further. However, we are still not done with this room. There's one other thing we can do. So once again, we're going to line coops up, hold them in place, get on the elevator, and release him. See that box over there? Well, we're going to jump on that. Takes us up to the ceiling, where we get ourselves a nice shine sprite. And also, there's this barrel has its top missing. We can fall inside and get a star piece. Very cool room, that. I wish there were more puzzles in the game that involved that. 
using old partners for new, uh, cool new things. Come on, Coops. You haven't had a whole lot of screen time, so here you go. Alright, let's unlock the door. I remember one of my brothers got stuck here, like at this save block, with 1 HP, like, and no health refilling items at all. I'm not sure if he ever made it out of there. I'll have to ask him. Oh my! Keep opening my badges. I think these are the Parabuzzy battles where each Parabuzzy you battle has more Parabuzzies inside the fight. Oh, uh, yep, this is the one with three. Take that, Parabuzzy. Ooh, look at all that money. Wonderful. Oh, Lava Bubble. Well, let's take him out first. Ouch. Why are all the- why is the audience filled with nothing but booze? It's a little odd. I am so glad I equipped Power Plus. <laughs> this is really helping. That's the last Parabuzzy dead, also in this room. Hidden panel. Make sure you grab that. Shine Sprite over there, there's a lot of them. Use Coops to get that pretty easy. Now here, instead of using Vivian, you can actually roll under these guys. Just make sure you don't uh, roll under the bottom part when they stick out. I almost got unlucky there! Here, it's just out of reach. There's an invisible coin block here. So yeah, there are Shine Sprites all over this world. You can see we have 13 Shine Sprites, but also keep in mind that after this world, we can get the Ultra Stone, which lets us upgrade partners twice as opposed to just once. So that's why the game starts bombarding us with uh, Shine Sprites. Here, when you jump on the barrels, they start to bob, so wait for them to just kind of come back up before jumping to the next thing. Otherwise, you might regret it. Now, Vivian doing f damage with fire punches, I can't remember if she actually takes damage by punching these guys. She does. So don't do that. Sorry, Vivian. Oh, hi, Mr. Lava Bubble. 
How do you do? Alright, let's swap to... Bobbery. <laughs> I just realized that the embers can't even damage Mario. Also, Bobbery has a ton of HP. He, I haven't leveled him up at all, and he already has 20 HP. B-I-N-G-O and bingo didn't even matter. I guess I got four new audience members, and that's it. Get out of here. Wow, Bobbery actually deals a lot of damage against still fire enemies. That's good to know. Bobbery's pretty similar to Bombette. In many ways, he's better, like the fact that you can throw him instead of just having to drop him. But the thing is, Bombette's abilities are just better. Like, her version of Bomb is far superior to Bobbery's, because it just deals tons of damage. So we can't get through there, you know what time it is. Yep. Actually not flurry. Come on, that would be boring. We're blowing it up! And yeah, I'm gonna see... Let's see, I don't need Spike Shield. And I don't need FP plus. And I don't need super appeal. I will put on quick change. So I only have 25 FP now, but I'm about to get five more FP from the next level up, which comes very soon. So I'm not worried about that. Oh, hi. Quick Change is just such a valuable badge to have, even if though it costs almost twice what it did in the original. Oh, thank you. Ouch! So that's how you want to play. Ah! Why did I hit you with a hammer? So here let's witness Bobbery's bomb explosion against the Boil Blaster. Two damage. That is not a lot. Bombat deals way more damage for- Whoa! Hi! That's not supposed to happen. I didn't realize that Bill Blasters would spit out two bullet bills in one turn. Really? Oh, and fog. Great. Well, Bobbery can blow up the fog just by using his bomb ability. This is so unfair that he can shoot two bold bills every single turn. This is where multi-bounce would come in handy. In fact, I am going to equip multi-bounce right now. After I pick up all the money, of course. Let's see... I don't need Ice Smash. Also, I'm gonna bring out Sid. Sid will be most effective against the Bill Blasters. <laughs> Thank you. 
the Sid will make just short work out of the Bill Blasters, because they only have 5 HP. Yep, they only have 5 HP. Awesome. Let's gulp them. That is the way to deal with Bill Blasters. Not Bobbery, Sid. Or whatever you named your Yoshi. Wow, that coin went out of bounds. Hi. Once again, I believe Sid can make quick work out of the- Oh, hi! I should have multi-bounced there. Why am I always getting, like, the double star? That was a useful use of multi-bounce. Alright, this these guys actually have defense, so I'm gonna go. Because you know, Sid can't deal any damage to against enemies with even one defense with his regular ground pound move. And for that, we get a level up. So what will we level up this time? FP. It's FP. It's gonna be FP. Thank you. Much appreciated. So you're noticing probably those dock symbols around all over the place. Well, no fear. We're about to find a use for those. Let's enter this ship. York! Oh, sweet, sweet salvation! I thought no one would ever come. I'd given up! What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already? Now, how did you know I was going to do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. Huh? I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out? Man, talk about a raw deal! You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh! All I wanted was to see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. You know what the key looks like, Mr. Seen It All already. Some ghost here has it. So just beat him, get it, and we'll get this farce over with. Come on now, I'm waiting. Well, first, if we go back here, we get the P down, D up badge. Drop the damage Mario deals and receives by one. So that's a decent alternative to the other one. Oh, power punch. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Later. Aw, oh, these guys barely give us any star points now. They're still worth fighting, though. And we get the black key. But what could it be used for? Oh, you joker. Yeah, yeah, whoop-dee-doo, you got the key. Party time. Now let me out already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. Ahem! <laughs> wee Fools! You dopes fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap! And now you will suffer! Oh yeah, I am so evil! Bathe in the foul awful- Wait, what was next? Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever with your, app for your appalling stupidity. You will rue the day you open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy, be cursed. <laughs> now you're cursed, but good. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Wait, that's maybe too much. Are you alright? That didn't really hurt, did it? <laughs> Good. Squirm and suffer like you socially awkward worms. From now on, in certain places if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? <laughs> just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. When you stand on one of these boat panels, the panel will you <laughs> we will feel your curse and blow. Yes, stand here, slime. Feel the pain and press Y. Become a paper boat. 
<laughs> oh yes, such suffering. Do you feel the horror? Now you're a piddly little boat. <laughs> you float on the water. People will laugh at you. You will be spit upon. But it only works in certain places, so uh, don't worry. It's not too bad. <laughs> When you want to return to normal, approach the panel and press Y. Now, try it, worm. Yes, your pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Now, do you understand your doom? Yeah, I get it. Then off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, listen. Thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. <laughs> and that, unfortunately, is the last of the chests we get to see in the game. You know, that cursed dude ain't half bad. <laughs> Yeah, he's the last of the black chests who curse you. It's a bit sad. But now we have all the four of the cool abilities, so... This is how we're gonna get back. So first off, is there anything back here? Nope. Okay. Had to check. Gotta check everywhere. And now we can get back to the main part of the Pirate's Grotto. And I'm sure you've seen those boat panels around Pirate's Grotto as well. Well, we've got to do a minor backtrack to get back to those. But it's nowhere near as bad as Twilight Town, so I am happy. Bloor! That was smart. Sid, let's go! Uh, Mario, we're about to run into water. No, it's okay, keep going! <laughs> Yeah, you can see at the bottom there. Oh, hey. What? Oh, wait, I think I missed the panel back there. Maybe not. No, never mind. No, I didn't. So I believe if you go back through here. Nope, never mind. We're all in the area. Here we go. This is the boat panel I was talking about. So first thing we're going to do is float back through here. Conveniently, there are all these holes in the cave walls for the stream to go through so we can follow up with our boat. So with our boat, we can actually go through this waterfall into a secret little uh, cavern over here. And in this chest lies the Defend Plus P badge boosts your ally's defense by one. Very good badge. Only 5 BP I think it takes as well. So, I will definitely keep that in mind for the future. If I'm ever like, forget quick change. This is the badge that it's all about. Alright. So we could go down the waterfall. I can't remember if there's other stuff up here we can do. No, there's not. Alright. Everybody down the waterfall! Bruh. Now unfortunately you can't actually go through there. But what we can do is sail through this area. It's kind of cool how, like, the dungeon overlaps on itself a little, uh, quite a bit. I like dungeons that do that. They seem very well designed. So now we go over here and get the gate handle, a handle used to open the floodgates. Ow, come on. Sometimes that... Especially when you're on the things that uh, dip in the water like this, it, they tend to eat your jump and plug like that! Take this, so you wobble bubble. Oh, hi! PowerShell. Thank you, Quick Change. Ooh, Lava Bubbles still give out two star points apiece. They're easier to defeat than Embers, though, which is interesting. Alright, there we go. Sorry, Coops. Give me Vivian. Thank 
Thanks for your help. Bye. So now that we've got the gate winch, what we can do is go back to this area, hover back over the gap with Sid, and then use the gate winch on this fane. That's gonna rise the gate and let the water flood out, and it gives us a brand new spot to sail in our boat. Whoa! Whoa! That freaky voice is making noise again. The ghosts must be nearby. Yep. So now, unfortunately, we do have to jump back up here. But it's only a temporary setback. Because the boat panel they conveniently put right here. And now we sail through the floodgates. go through this part? Nope. Okay. Now we sail to the right. This is the way we're supposed to sail. Alright, here we go. So now we're going to have waves that are spawning in front of us that should push us back to the start of the room. We want to sail around those. Don't be afraid to go backwards or move around like that in order to avoid the waves. Yeesh! The waves can be extremely and irritating to dodge, but you'll eventually get past them. Just like that. Booyah! And we're very close to the end of Pirate's Grotto now. Hey! Something's coming! There! Floating on the water! Where am I, huh? What? What? Let me see! Whoa, whoa. I can't breathe, guys! Is that a... is that a boat? Hey! Over here! Save us, please! Never fear, Mario the boat to the rescue! Now, me hearties, who needs saving? But first, I gotta hunt for me star pieces. Oh, hey, I never knew about that secret passageway. That's kinda cool. Hello! What is that? Well, that was pointless. Are you kidding me? It's made of paper. Still can't breathe, guys. Huge bummer. What is that? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. I can still save y'all. Uh, it's just that won't be as spectacular as you were expecting. So, once again, we get to go in the background. Very cool. You got the rocking pirate ship there. Reminds me of Captain Hook's pirate ship. That was not a Captain Hook impression, but... Curse, it's Peter Pan. So we can jump our way up here. And paper airplane. You never outgrow the paper airplane ability. It's just a very solid ability that you keep using till the end of the game. Blamp! Alright, create some platforms for us. I don't know how pushing a switch makes two wooden barrels that are already buoyant enough to rise to the surface of the water rise to the surface. Your guess is as good as mine. Now we get to go through this pipe and hit this switch. There you go. Hey, we can cross over now! Hey, hey, where are we waiting for? Let's go! Wow, they were great jumpers. Not a single one of them has even made the barrel move, let alone miss their footing. And hey, look who it is! <laughs> we recognize those two Piantas. Well, what a surprise to see them here. Although they did say they were taking a romantic voyage, I can't imagine why Keel Hall Key would be your romantic voyage of choice. But to each their own, maybe they're adventurers. Alright, now we get to jump across all this nonsense. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us! 
We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well... Our ship got surrounded by ghosts out on the ocean, and we all ended up here! Hey! Aren't you Mario? It's me! Me! Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca! And Frankie's here, too! After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us! Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby! Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back! What? You're after the pirate's treasure because it might contain a crystal star? Well, I think the treasure is right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough! Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me! Okay. Frankie and I are just so in love, anytime, anywhere, no matter how dank. Hey, Puddin' Pie, cool it, will ya? I mean, come on, babe, everyone's watching. Oh, they'll just say the same thing. What if we tattle on them? That's Frankie, Francesca's boyfriend. He shipwrecked here before even we did. Looks like Francesca's got him totally wrapped around her little finger, as always. That's Francesca the Pianta. She shipwrecked here even before we did. She doesn't seem too worried. I guess she doesn't care as long as she has Frankie. Well, that's kind of sweet. So, they all just stay here, I guess, and we'll go on forward. Whoa, whoa! You? Really? Whoa, whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way, and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then... Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez is in there, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure I am. And so is Grotus. Really? This guy's called Four Eyes. He's one of the sailors who came along to Keel Hall Key. It's the weirdest thing. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before, though. Maybe I'm just nuts. You're not. Well, sorry, what did I say? Forget it. I'll just wait here so I don't get in the way. Hmm, how nice of you. <laughs> Let's see, who's in need of HP the most? Bobbery and Goombella are equal amount. We'll do it with Goombella. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Color Fardy. If you tune in next time, we'll be finishing up Chapter 5 by taking on Cortez. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.